amoebas are single-celled organisms. The so-called brain-eating amoeba is a species discovered in 1965. Its formal name is Negoria phalari. It usually lurks in warm freshwater bodies or untreated, contaminated waters. When it finds its way inside the human body, it causes a rare, yet deadly infection and inflammation in the brain, and eventually destroys the brain tissue by eating it. Doctors call this disease primary ambic meningoencephalitis PAM. You can only get it when contaminated water with the brain-eating amoeba travels up your nose. Brain-eating amoeba is a serious infection that can quickly kill people if not treated quickly. Amoeba infections are common in warm freshwater environments, such as lakes, rivers, and hot springs. The amoeba, Negoria phalari, can live in freshwater for months, even years, without harm. However, Negoria phalari can become deadly when it enters the brain. There are many different types of amoebas, but the most common are the single-celled protists. These amoebas are usually small, but some can be very large. Amoebas are unusual creatures because they can move around freely in water. They use their cells to move and to form new tissues. Amoebas can cause problems if they are ingested by humans or animals. If an amoeba is ingested, it can travel through the digestive system and end up in the bloodstream. If the amoeba enters the brain, it can cause serious problems. So in this video, we are talking about the most horrible parasite brain-eating amoeba. So before going deeper into the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. So let's get started. Now let's overview brain-eating amoeba that affects your brain badly. So first of all know, what is brain-eating amoeba? There are several species of Negoria, but only the Fowlery species causes PAM. It was first identified in Australia but this amoeba is believed to have evolved here in the U.S. N. Fowlery is microscopic, 8 micrometers to 15 micrometers in size, depending on its life stage and environment. By comparison, a hair is 40 to 50 micrometers wide. Like other amoebas, Negoria reproduces by cell division. When conditions aren't right, the amoebas become inactive cysts. When conditions are favorable, the cysts turn into trophozoites, the feeding form of the amoeba. Number 1. Negoria fowleri. Negoria fowler is a brain-eating amoeba that lives in warm freshwater lakes, rivers, ponds, and hot springs. Its primary habitat is the nasal passages of humans and animals. In warmer water, Negoria fowleri can survive at temperatures between 50 degf to 120 degf. Negoria fowleri is a protozoan parasite that can cause primary ambic meningoencephalitis PAM, a potentially fatal infection of the brain. PAM is most commonly caused by the Negoria fowleri parasite emerging from the body of an infected person through the nose or mouth. PAM is a rapidly progressive and deadly infection that can cause severe headache, fever, confusion, seizures, and death. Early diagnosis and treatment is critical for the best possible outcome, and there is no vaccine or cure for PAM. However, early diagnosis and treatment with proper antibiotics is often successful in preventing death. Negoria fowleri is a type of protozoan parasite that can cause primary ambic meningoencephalitis PAM, a potentially fatal infection of the brain. Number 2. Leptospira interrogans. Leptospira enterogens is a species of pathogenic spirochete bacteria belonging to the genus Leptospira. It is the causative agent of leptospirosis, also known as Wiles disease, which is a potentially fatal zoonotic disease that affects both animals and humans. The bacterium is transmitted through the urine of infected animals, which can enter the body through broken skin or mucous membranes. Symptoms of leptospirosis include fever, headache, muscle pain, and vomiting, and can progress to include kidney failure, meningitis, and respiratory distress. Prevention of infection involves preventing exposure to infected animals or their environment. 
Avoiding contact with water that contains animals is advisable. Wearing rubber boots while working in wet fields is recommended. Cleaning up animal feces and garbage should be done properly. Treatment includes the administration of antibiotics. Antibiotics can be taken orally or intravenously. In most cases, antibiotic therapy does not cure the infection, but provides sufficient time for the body to fight off the infection. Supportive care is then the responsibility of the attending physician. Number 3. Cryptosporidium parvum. This parasite is one of the leading causes of diarrhea among children. Most cases of cryptosporidiosis are caused by drinking contaminated water. In adults, it can cause gastrointestinal symptoms and severe dehydration. CP is transmitted through contaminated food and water, especially if they have been improperly cleaned. Symptoms may appear anywhere from a few days to two weeks after exposure. Once infected, patients develop persistent, watery stools that last one to two weeks. Complications occur in severely ill patients who fail to recover. Patients at risk for complications include those who are malnourished, immunocompromised, elderly, or underweight. Treatment options include prescription drugs and rehydration therapy. Number 4. Gyrodia lamblia. The most abundant human pathogen in the world, Gyrodia affects over 5 million people annually. Gyrodia is a protozoa, single-celled eukaryote, commonly found in water systems and throughout the environment. There are two types of Gyrodia, Gyrodia intestinalis and Gyrodia lamblia, which cause different symptoms and are treated differently, but both can cause severe illness. Gyrodia spreads easily through contaminated food and water. People can become infected if they eat improperly cooked foods or beverages containing cysts in closed forms. Drinking untreated water can make someone sick and even put them at risk for acquiring serious diseases. Gyrodia infections rarely affect children under two years old, however. They do occur among adults and have been reported in pregnant women and travelers who have visited developing countries. Symptoms vary depending on the type of Gyrodia infection. In some cases, no symptoms appear. In others, people experience bloating, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, weight loss, headaches, joint pain. If left untreated, Judices can lead to short-term problems including dehydration, malabsorption, low blood counts, and weight loss. Longer-term complications may result in chronic conditions such as malnutrition, impaired brain function, and depression. Cases of Judices have increased significantly since the 1950s and Gyrodia is now considered to be an emerging infectious disease. Because there are few drugs available to treat Gyrodia infections, prevention is key. Prevention includes keeping personal hygiene clean by washing hands frequently, avoiding drinking tap water, and treating wastewater properly before using it. Number 5. Intamoeba histolytica. The protozoan parasite Intamoeba histolytica causes amoebiasis. Amoebiasis is one of the leading parasitic infections worldwide. Most cases occur in developing countries where poor sanitation and lack of access to clean water cause fecal oral transmission of the infection. In industrialized nations, the disease is rare due to widespread use of antibiotics and improved public sanitation. However, travelers to these regions should avoid ingesting food or beverages contaminated with feces. Amoebiasis symptoms may resemble those of many other gastrointestinal GI, illnesses, including diarrhea, abdominal cramps and pain, nausea, vomiting, and fever. A person infected with E. histolytica presents with bloody diarrhea, dysentery, and intestinal abscesses. People who have been infected with E. histolytica for years often show no symptoms. Number 6. Cyclospora catensis. Cyclospora catensis is a single-celled, microscopic parasite that can cause an intestinal illness called cyclosporiasis. People can become infected with cyclospora by consuming contaminated food or water. 
The parasite is most commonly found in tropical and subtropical countries and outbreaks have been linked to fresh produce, such as raspberries, basil, and lettuce. Cyclosporiasis is characterized by watery diarrhea, abdominal cramps, bloating, weight loss, and fatigue. The illness can last for weeks or even months, and people can experience multiple episodes. Treatment involves antibiotics, and most people recover fully. However, some people can experience long-term effects, such as weight loss and chronic diarrhea. Cyclospora catensis is a serious concern for public health, and outbreaks have been linked to contaminated fresh produce. People should take care to wash all fruits and vegetables thoroughly and cook them properly. So that's it for today's video. I hope you like this video. If you really do, then do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.